Welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna Tikhanov and I'm a women's health nurse practitioner. And on my many other videos in the past, if you haven't watched those, check them out. I talk about different birth control methods and I'm almost done. I'm nearing to the end of my birth control series. And today's video is going to be about the emergency contraceptive pill or what many of you probably know it as is plan B or the morning after pill. So, you know, this pill is something that I think has, there's a lot of misconceptions around it of um, what it's used for and how it's used and what can happen if you take it. And I'm here to set the record straight. So the emergency contraceptive pill is something that is actually available in the U.S. over the counter, which is awesome because this is a way that you have um, immediate access to this pill if you need it. But what I find is when women don't know exactly how it works or what's real and what's not really true about the pill, um, a lot of women are then kind of hesitant to go and pick this pill up if they potentially need it and then don't use it. So um, the emergency contraceptive pill is supposed to be used in an emergency um, in the sense of if you have unprotected sex, if the condom breaks, if there's any kind of slip up or you are just worried that there is a pregnancy risk, let's say you are on a birth control method, but you weren't using it correctly, you forgot to take the pill for a few days, whatever the case may be, um, the emergency contraceptive pill is something that could be taken within usually the mo for it to be most effective within three days of having unprotected sex or whatever the, the risk is for pregnancy. So within three days, the sooner you take it, the better. So the way this pill works is actually by just altering your own menstrual cycle so that it's basically trying to delay a woman's body from releasing an egg or from ovulating. So the idea is that sperm can technically live in your body for up to five days, which I mentioned before. The, the egg that is released from a woman's body is typically only lasts about 24 hours or even less. So the idea is that by taking plan B, the, the uh, morning after pill, it's delaying a woman's body from releasing that egg. So it gives the sperm time to completely die off and prevent that meeting of egg and sperm. It is not at all going to harm a pregnancy if a pregnancy has already occurred. So if a pregnancy has already occurred, it's implanted inside the woman, the pill is not going to do a thing. It's not going to harm the pregnancy. Um, it's just, it's not going to work because the pregnancy already happened. But the goal is if you take it soon enough, it prevents the egg from being released at when it's, when it's scheduled to, to happen so that then egg and sperm don't meet and pregnancy doesn't occur. So because it's altering your menstrual cycle, what is very common is that you're, you might experience spotting or bleeding a few days, within a few days after taking the pill. And then what usually can happen as well is that when you're, whenever your next period is expected, it might not come because remember, it's shifting your menstrual cycle. So I get this question all the time from patients, extremely worried, and I hope you are all out there, spread the word, send this video out to your friends, because it's something that is the most common question I get from my patients about worrying, oh my God, I haven't gotten my period, does this mean I'm pregnant? So rule of thumb, one, after you take plan B, Expect to have irregular bleeding for one to two months. This is not harmful to your body, but this is kind of the normal side effect of taking this pill, meaning that you might have spawning randomly, you might have irregular bleeding where you're bleeding on and off, you might skip your next period and not get it. But the most important thing is that you take a pregnancy test two weeks from after you took the plan B, and if that test is negative, then you are not pregnant, the plan B worked, case closed. So the reason why you don't want to take the pregnancy test any sooner than the two weeks is because then it would just be too soon to tell and it won't be an accurate test result. So you really want to make sure you wait at least the two weeks from when you took plan B and always take that test just to be absolutely sure and give yourself peace of mind. I understand that our minds really can get the best of us. And you know, at that point, if the test is negative, even if you don't get a period when you're, you're supposed to in the next cycle, that is normal because remember, it is altering your menstrual cycle. It's really important too, that you keep in mind that although this pill does work great to help prevent pregnancy in a situation where you might've had a, a little slip up or weren't using your birth control method correctly, 
correctly, it's not something you really want to use routinely all the time, every time you have unprotected sex, you just use this method con constantly because it's not really a birth control method. It's, although I'm talking about it in my birth control series, it's something that you kind of want to use as a last resort. It is there if it's needed, but it's something that if you continue to use it more often, you're kind of just putting yourself more at risk of a pregnancy eventually occurring if you're continuing to have unprotected sex. So it's really important that you really just reserve it for those times where you know, you, you really need to use it versus continuously using it all the time. Plus, remember, the more times you take it, the more your, your cycle will get irregular and it gets very difficult to track your cycles when this is happening and usually just causes a lot of unnecessary anxiety of now kind of not knowing, are you pregnant, are you not? And if you're having that constant anxiety, then it's probably a good idea to have some kind of birth control method that can help better than using the morning after pill all the time. Now, I know I'm using that term morning after pill, but I do want to stress that you can take it within three days of having unprotected sex. So it doesn't have to be just the morning. Some women I have tell me, oh my God, the morning passed and I just thought that I couldn't take it because it's been, it's the second or third day, so I never took the pill, but you can. Um, there are studies that actually show as well that, that even taking it within five days can be effective, although three is when it's most effective and always the sooner the better. So that is the main gist of plan B or the emergency contraceptive pill. You know, it might be under different brands when you go over into the pharmacy. Um, depending on which state you're in, it may be different, vary versus if you can just literally pick it up in an aisle or sometimes it is behind the desk where the pharmacist is, but you do not need a prescription for this medication. You can just go and pick it up at your pharmacy. So it's something that I can't stress enough the side effects of it because that tends to be the most common worry of, you know, what does this mean when I'm having a skipped period or random spotting? And it's just part of the process of the pill itself. Um, so again, this is an overview. This is not meant to be a substitute for if you have a very specific scenario situation that you need more clarification on, it's always a good idea that you check in with your GYN provider. But this is a way to give you information so that if you find yourself in a situation where maybe um, taking the emergency contraceptive pill would be a good idea in your situation, if pregnancy is not in your plan, now you have this information to go and get it safely. Again, this does not harm a pregnancy if it's already occurred. That is a huge misconception. It will not do that at all. It is only going to help prevent a future pregnancy. If you have any questions or comments, please don't forget to comment below, like and subscribe to this video. Check out my other videos that go into all the different birth control methods out there so that you can have a better idea of what might be good for you. I love to hear your feedback. Also check out my Instagram. It's at underscore the ladies guide. I love interacting with you all and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.